This is one of the biggest upgrades to OnePlus flagship phone in years, with the OnePlus 12 propelling the phone maker into a more serious contender against the likes of Apple and Samsung. The OnePlus 12 features a larger display, triple cameras with an upgraded 3x periscope camera, Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip, and speedy 80 watt wire charging. It even manages to throw in wireless charging and an IR blaster while basically costing the same as before. For the price, the OnePlus 12's 6.82 inch 2K Pro XDR display has its share of delights, including OnePlus claim that the screen can reach an unheard of 4500 nits peak brightness. From what I can gather during my time using the phone, the Pro XDR on the OnePlus 12 dishes up strong brightness in direct sunlight, allowing me to see everything with crystal clarity results. I'm still skeptical about the phone reaching that 4500 nit peak, but I'll be content if it can eclipse the 1300 nits of brightness that the OnePlus 11 produced with its display. Paired with a 120Hz display refresh rate, I find the OnePlus 12 suitable for intensive gaming where there is a lot of action happening on screen, everything flows smoothly, making the most demanding games look fluid. One interesting tidbit about the display is AquaTouch, which is new technology that ensures accuracy if the phone's screen is wet. If you are like me and sometimes bring your phone into the shower to scroll through your feeds or play a few tunes, then you can appreciate AquaTouch's increased sensitivity. OnePlus phones have always come up short in the camera department against their rivals, but the new triple camera arrangement of the OnePlus 12 intends to prove that this phone can finally break the stigma. The fourth gen Hasselblad camera for mobile system of the OnePlus 12 consists of a main 50 megapixel camera, 48 megapixel ultra wide, and a 64 megapixel periscope camera with 3x optical zoom. The telephoto camera is an iterative improvement over the OnePlus 11's 32 megapixel 2x telephoto zoom, but I am happy to report that just about every performance metric around the cameras is better than before. Starting with the 50 megapixel main camera, it produces excellent results accompanied by sharp details, realistic colors, and good dynamic range. However, I don't see a tremendous difference against the OnePlus 11's main camera when the lighting conditions are good. The 48 megapixel ultra camera on the OnePlus 12 also holds up well, especially in high contrast scenes that have strong sources of light. The Avo photos from the OnePlus 12 and 11 shows they have evenly matched at balancing the overall exposure of the scene. The biggest improvement in my opinion centers around the new 64 megapixel periscope camera that bumps optical zoom capabilities to 3x compared to 2x on the OnePlus 11. And the help of OnePlus 12's high resolution sensor images can be enlarged with a 6x in sensor zoom and without any degradation to the details. There is no comparison because the 3x zoom photos I captured with the OnePlus 12 are sharper, more detailed than the 2x zoom camera of the OnePlus 11. When I crop into the photos, I can still make out of the higher fidelity look of the 12's photos. Low light performance is a toss up because I noticed that the OnePlus 12 has a tendency to underexpose scenes and cast a warmer color temperature compared to the OnePlus 11. You can see it in the photo. Here are some camera samples of the OnePlus 12 and other phone comparison. OnePlus certainly caters to enthusiasts because there are plenty of shooting modes and controls to access. In addition to a dedicated pro mode that lets me adjust the shutter speed, focus, and ISO level, you also get a dedicated movie mode with a flat color profile option. Overall, the OnePlus 12 makes considerable gains everywhere around the camera to undoubtedly prove it's better than last year's model. That's a win in my book. But there is more to camera phones now than just producing the best photos. In an era where AI-assisted photo and video editing is being deployed on more phones, the OnePlus 12 misses its opportunity to get on board in this area. You won't find an AI photo features like the ones on, say, the Galaxy S24.
Even though it's not the first phone to offer Qualcomm's latest top-of-the-line mobile chipset, the OnePlus 12 still flexes some muscle thanks to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. Basic operations such as scrolling through the interface and running apps are all accompanied with tight responses. It also helps that the OnePlus 12's 120Hz refresh rate smooths out all animations to make them look more fluid. After running all the usual synthetic benchmark tests, we can confirm that the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 is no slouch in the graphics processing department, averaging a wicked fast 170 frames per second with the 3D Mark Wildlife Unlimited test. Its score of 90,572 is also better than what the iPhone 15 Pro and Galaxy S23 Ultra can produce. Impressively, the OnePlus pulls out amazing figure with Geekbench with its single and multi-core scores of 2188 and 6525 respectively. Although it took 59 seconds for the OnePlus 12 to render a video in Adobe Rush Premiere that also trails the faster render times of the iPhone 15 Pro and Galaxy S23 Ultra. I am not one to always lean on the scores of synthetic benchmark tests, so I am happy to report that the OnePlus 12 runs graphically intensive titles like Diablo Immortal almost flawlessly. I am not hung up on the Geekbench scores as much knowing that the phone has yet to do anything that would indicate it's sluggish in everyday usage. If there is one thing I can't get out of my mind about the OnePlus 12, it's how this flagship phone feels more competitive than ever before. With the reintroduction of wireless charging plus extending its telephoto range even more, it's hard to deny its value over all other flagship phones. I am very picky about what I spend my money on when I do. I want to ensure there is a tremendous value in what I am getting and the OnePlus 12 proves it's the affordable flagship to beat yet again. While I am bummed that it's lacked in the AI front, its considerably lower price point paired with everything I mentioned above allows anything on a tight budget to experience a top-notch flagship at the not-so-typical overpriced cost. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.